Shout out to XS Power, right? Yep. XS Power, who is helping out the Cletus team. We snagged one of their new 14 volt batteries that they sent. We put it in parallel with our existing 12 volt battery because we're dropping so much voltage. This is a 14, this is a 12. The power goes to the power, the negative goes to the negative inside this box. And then we also ran a new power cord directly to the relays that power the fuel pumps up front. And then these two go to a booster pump which then feed the fuel pumps. Yeah, we had to go to something a little bigger. Yeah, so we've uh, we've been scheming, we've been wiring, Zach loves wiring, so do I. We feel confident, we tested it on the brake. We're ready to do a pass, dog. Yeah. Other than that, I think we fixed everything. It's, it's gotta go now. Good. Well. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. Good. Let's go. 
Zach and I just realized we made a big mistake from the moment we got here. We've made, this will be our fourth pass, and the reason why we're getting so many passes is everyone else isn't is because we're in quarantine. We're the top three drivers at this track right now for our class, so we're allowed to come into our own lane. But we just realized that we didn't undo, loosen up the compression on one of our uh, coilovers in the back, and so it's been fighting us. It's probably why we broke a sway bar end link. It's probably why it's been spinning every pass, but we've been doing a couple things. We did a timing retard, We've adjusted the front suspension and we, we decreased the boost on the leaves. So we're hoping to get a good clean pass in this time so that we can hit the road and go to Canyon Field. It's not great, but we do have two more days to improve upon. And right. that timing and retard. Fuel pressure is good. Fuel pressure there, it's not breaking up, but that timing retard is real. And now we can use that for Gainesville if we need to. Yeah, they, they're re prepping that tire. They're tearing they everything up. up. So let's get on the road. We got to get to Gainesville. Yeah. One soldier left, right? And the crew. <laughs> Last horse to the dog. All right, let's get this for the. All right, I'm gonna go get your hood. Mr. Sam and I are laying under the car. We got hey, some cracked welds holding on right our trailer. You see this right here? We got a cracked weld here. Got Look at here. Sam's ratchet. So we've took the bar. Piece. We're hooked to the bar. Up to the frame. Dude, up to the frame. This is cracked. That weld's cracked. Okay. It's bolted, but it's we got a ratchet strap right here. Um, and Mr. Sam's and masterpiece. This bar here, pulling this bar, yep. which is yep. up to the frame of the car here and here. Ratched it down. That's beauty. It, and that ain't going nowhere. That ain't going anywhere. We're safely going down the road to our next destination. Here go. we go. As you've seen, we are about a mile from our first checkpoint and our hitch, the welds are cracking onto the rear bumper. This uh, receiver hitch isn't really designed for this way. So we moved a lot of the weight in the trailer to the back, but these guys, some linemen, stopped to help us out. You guys gotta see this. All right, we got Devin under the car. He's got some washers they use on, on power lines. Hold on, let me turn the light on. He's got this curved washer we threw up here, but you can see this crack here. Yes, I know it's not safe. We're doing the best we can. We've got a ratchet here. We've got a ratchet strap there. We put another curved washer back there. I'm keeping a close eye on it. I've got it marked with a Sharpie. We're stopping about every 20 miles to check the cracks. Doing what we can to keep on moving. We probably have another two hour drive ahead of us to Gainesville and uh, racing in the morning. Let's get it. Zach, what are you cooking up over here in the motel room, bro? I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel like I made a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got the Dude, this quality. is sketch. We're, are we leaving this plugged in overnight? I jumped on it as soon as I got in the room so we don't have to, but <laughs> I'm willing to take that risk. Bro. You know, not my hotel. I got to say, <laughs> I pulled the data log. It's perfect. Sick. It's perfect. It worked. It worked. Well, it's going to work even better because that was the out-the-box charge. Nice. We're going to give it a real 14 volts now, which is actually probably going to be like 14 and a half. Let's go. Nice work. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize 
dang it, I really need to brush my teeth. Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty, get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.